How's it going guys? Me, David here for my second day of the brush test. For those of you guys that weren't, haven't seen the last video, shame on you, but I am testing out this brush here. It is the Vylong Lord Randall, left to me by my buddy, uh, Michael Bustamante, also known as Busta. Shave Busta here on YouTube. If you aren't already following him or subscribe to his channel, check out Shave Busta. The odds are, if you're following me, you're probably already following him. He has a lot more subscribers than I do. But just in case, his videos are pretty dope. Go check out Shave Busta. So, testing out the Vylon, Lord Randall. And on the first test, I used a real basic, real easy to lather artisan soap, Soap Commander Respect. And that was the medium soft solid artisan soap today i'm gonna uh, put it to the test with a hard soap and as requested by my buddy david bradner i'm gonna go ahead and use tobacco been a while since i used it in a video and just hard soaps are the next test for this brush you know um i thought it had great backbone nice softness all around everything that i would want on a brush uh, it passed the first test but again, next, I'm trying it with the hard puck. Then I'm going to try it with a cream, see how it reacts. I'm going to roll this up. With everything, should always give it the best chance in the world to succeed. You know, because there's a lot of brushes out there, man, that people will say, oh, it's a great bowl lathering brush. Oh, it's a good face lathering brush. Um, I like variety. I like my brushes to be good at anything. If I'm in the mood to face lather, if I'm in the mood to lather in my scuttle, I want any brush that I pick up to be able to serve that purpose. Looks like I loaded a good amount in there. I think it's probably right. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the face. Even though you guys normally see me face lather, I do enjoy the occasional bowl slash scuttle uh, lather from time to time. Waste no time going straight into it, baby. Need a little water. Tobacco is just, without a doubt, one of my favorite soaps of all time, man. Um, performance. I know the scent is very polarizing. You either love it or you hate it. Um, but, man, just in terms of performance, the performance of the tobacco is undeniable. I'm going to go ahead and use my Stealth Forge Customs. Yeah, it's a beauty. Love this razor. Honed by the Stallion. But most recently, I had to get it touched up. And, you know, he took care of that for me. So, judging of course, tobacco, there's no secret that tobacco is dope. You know, so I expect the first lather to be fantastic. Even a trash brush could get you a good first lather. What I'm going to be looking for, again, I already know the softness is there. I was looking to see if the backbone maintained itself. Um, if, I'm, if you guys, again, I mentioned last time that this brush was put into a travel tube by... Sorry for that interruption. Uh, the wife just called right now. She's coming home from work. I think it's the first time ever during one of my videos that I actually got interrupted like that. It's 
So, as I was saying, I'm looking to see that this brush maintains its backbone. It was in a travel tube, and if you've ever seen any uh, any brush that came out of a tube or even fresh off the pack, the bristles are pointing straight up. No real splay, none of that. So, I didn't know if being in the travel tube and it being standing up with no splay helped it with the backbone, or if it was going to maintain its backbone once it... Um, once it's got reworked a little bit. So far, so good. That first one, it uh, kept up the, uh, the backbone real nice. Now we're going to see the stability of lather. If this brush can help keep the brush, help, help keep the lather nice while it's sitting waiting for my uh, second and third pass. Um, you may think that that just strictly relies on the soap. No, it doesn't. I have used a Samoa Owners Club with tobacco. And my lathers die out in that brush. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is. My water probably has something to do with it. But in that brush, my third my third passes on almost any soap that I've ever used it with, done. I kind of have to revisit the puck. Which, whatever. I don't mind. I have plenty of soap, so I'm not worried about using it. But it's just an inconvenience. And I think that's a definite knock on the functionality of the brush. I'm sure you can see, second second pass, the lather still looks great. I'm gonna cut straight out that line here. On my goatee, since I'm always so cautious as to not cut it too short, I've actually been allowing it to grow outwards this way, just in this spot. So I'm going to try to square it up a little bit. You can see some long hairs in, in there, so... Happy with that, squirt it up nicely. You see a nice pretty even line there. That's what I was looking for. In case if you're wondering what I do right there, this side of uh, my mustache actually grows thicker and even the hair starts growing a little higher up than this side. So I kind of line it up here to even out with this end just a little bit. It's a real delicate touch there. I think messing up that part is what made me actually start shaving my mustache before. Uh, before. Because this damn mustache is so hard to grow in, I just never grew it back. I really love the scent of tobacco. I know, again, I know it's a controversial issue, this damn scent of tobacco, man, but I love it. I never get tired of that. I've talked about it before. I don't have the best of relationship with my, with my family. Well, my grandfather, who I no longer speak to, unfortunately, I don't even know why he kind of just uh, distanced himself from the family years ago. And again, he's just generally not a good person, so I never really tried to make that extra effort to reach out to him. But he used to use this soap. Looks pretty even. I got a trim down here because it's getting long. So, but even though now we don't talk or really have anything to do with each other, doesn't mean as a child it wasn't there wasn't pleasant memories, you know. So, I 
And that's why when I got into wet shaving, that was the first soap I bought. There we go, baby. So third and final pass to see how the leather looks. I'll say it's good. So pass number two. I mean, test number two seemed to have been passed. It was able to have a medium hard slash soft solid type of soap and soap commander. Completely handled the hard to back puck. And next, I'm going to use it with a cream. What cream? I don't know yet. So, of course, as usual, excellent shade with, with the back. And the brush did its job. So, let's clear it off. Fantastic. Oh, wearing the True Classic shirt today. Pick it up at SoulSharpLimited.com if interested. Get a little long. I'm gonna trim this up tonight. Get the machine going. Got the Thayer's wood chisel. Mm -hmm. And today I'm gonna go ahead and follow up to back. I'm gonna go ahead and use PAA Club Guy with it. I like the powderiness to it. I think it kind of complements it real well. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but thank you guys for watching. Bruce did got it in, man. So good job on that. I'll catch you guys for part three. I decided to, to film all three, um, especially since David Bradner said that he hasn't seen me use the back in a while on on a video. So why the hell not? So, man, catch you guys on the third installment of the brush test. Thanks for watching.